Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and this is your weekly tarot guidance for the week of September the 5th through the 12th of 2016. For anybody who's asking about the dates and where did the 4th go, I think I dropped it off of last week's, but it was included. Now, let's talk about this week for a minute, all right, because we already know we're into September. We have so much going on. And every week there's something. So this week we have on the 9th, Jupiter entering Libra. This is a big deal. It'll be there through October the 10th of 2017. And whatever house that falls in in your chart, Jupiter will be bringing, you know, its gifts to that area of your life. So check it out and see where it will be beneficial to you. I do intend to do a tarot guidance on Patreon for Jupiter and Libra, so that should be upcoming probably by about the 5th. It should be posted, okay? And one other thing this week as well, on the 10th, the I want to I want to say it's the last. Uh, I want to say the third and final, but my brain hasn't been doing too good lately. Um, square between Saturn and Neptune. All right. And to me, that's a clash between reality versus fantasy. But you know what? I think this is a good thing. I don't know exactly how to put it, but I feel like it comes and it deals with an issue that's been hanging around and really showing the truth of it, not the way you may have been thinking it is. And once that reality is there, that Saturn's bringing as much, you know, Saturn is oh, like makes me crazy, but I think this is a very positive thing once it's done because I think it, it, which is like a catalyst, let's put it that way, for something that needs to happen in your life. And once that does, it's kind of like you're on your way. So let's not fear it, let's just let it do its thing. All right. Now this week, I'm working with the brand new, just released, beautiful Tarot Apocalypsis by Eric Dunn. Okay, so it's its first time out of the box and it's been shuffled really well. All right, let's talk about this week. All right, so we know we have the new moon just passed, okay? And it was an annular solar eclipse in Virgo. You have to have seen things happening. As this week starts, that eclipse is still, you know, it's still hanging around and doing stuff. Eclipses don't go away right away, okay? There is some form of a direction change taking place here. I think it's a good one for you. Let's hope it's a good one for you because it's about your decisions. And lately we've been talking about your decision-making process and that learning to choose differently and make important decisions that don't keep giving you the same results. As a matter of fact, I'm seeing this here, it is indeed very, very positive for you. So it's kind of like, I don't want to call it a battle. The last five years have been like a battle, but then here you are getting yourself on a new road. This feels totally, totally different. And like I said, it's decision time. There's a sense of being reborn, reborn into some sort of positive vibe, okay, that in spite of the obstacles that you had, you are still managing to, I want to say it's like your quest for happiness, but that you're understanding now that perhaps the things that you thought would make you happy are truly not what you need. Okay, so it's kind of like walking away from that pursuit. And this is all in a very, very good way. In as far as all of your efforts and your rewards for your hard work. Hmm. Big change is coming. Big, big change. Now, I have to advise against that. I want to say being a couch potato kind of thing. <sighs> right? I think there's too much going on this month, but there is that need to take the time out sometimes here because I'm seeing it 
it's repetitive that taking the time to yourself okay so maybe you do need to be a couch potato sit around think a little bit reflect on your life what are you doing see here's the thing it's very very clear that none of us actually knows what it's like when we get to october okay because there's so much that still has to play out we're between eclipses mercury's retrograde it's impossible to know exactly what it's going to be so here you are you know i don't know if this is wasted time i don't know how to put it because this is truly when i look at this this is a beautiful deck all right pondering your next move and how do you make a plan how do you put it all together is the universe going to cooperate you know that there's no way to know really unless you try okay because in the past you've tried things and you found out that wasn't meant to be but at some point i think that a plan has to stick do you know what i'm saying there is this continued feeling of self-doubt and worry in spite of all the good things that are happening now i i don't know why but i keep insisting that this really lasts up until around that equinox time okay so i don't expect that feeling to go away this week but you still have so much going on and maybe it's even just restless energy that won't allow you to sleep because everybody's telling me oh my goodness i didn't sleep well and this and that da, 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 da. there's a lot that's happening people a lot now your creativity what can you create my goodness it's like you have everything before you and i'm hoping that you really truly realize this because it's finally possible to have your wishes see there are it's a really mixed bag all right and i think that's where all the thinking process comes in because it's trying to sort it out it's like you see that your wishes could come true but maybe they're not the wishes that you thought you were wishing for and but you're like but this is good but wait a minute but i wanted that da, 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 da. you know what i'm saying so it's like going back and forth with yourself almost like an argument in the mind but i'm thinking take it and run with it because this is a great offer whatever the universe is putting in front of you this week and again with the choices okay what is your vision i think it you know you've been like i said that pondering your next move so something good happens and you're like all right now what do i do now okay because it kind of feels like a step by step you've struggled so hard to go forward but there are choices to be made this week and decisions to be made this week oh, putting a matter to rest through some very i want to say creative finagling okay pulling out all your resources to get the job done wow in order to put this matter to rest you're really at a i mean a big crossroads there, there is this sense of this week like where to there's an i i think there's a new road that opens up okay just a brand new road wow that gives me the chills to say that there is success like finally success where there's movement with something oh my goodness see there's something this week that allows you to be more carefree and i do not think it's jupiter and libra i think it's saturn square neptune you know the reality of it all must bring in something that really helps with this decision making process because it's been such a struggle for such a long time and you are just going along your way change 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 learning how to separate from things that you were attached to for a very long time i like that i think it's a good thing okay hmm yeah see you're achieving some sense of freedom this week and it's like it's like you were bonded bound to something that was in your past so i don't really think you totally get rid of it this week i don't think that's possible 
because I kind of feel like that's maybe next week or the week after. I don't want to get ahead of anything, but I definitely think there's something happening here because things are starting to move. Okay, and movement is good. You've waited for this like karmic bit of good luck to come in and give you a boost in the right direction. And finally, it's happening. Cool. Responsibility. Hmm. The responsibilities don't go away. I did something somewhere. I don't remember where it was, to be honest with you, but I was talking about them. Could have been on Patreon for a specific sun sign, but I kind of get the same feeling for most of you out there. That there's this whatever you've been trudging along trying to get done that's been weighing you down. It's like still there. And I kind of think you're carrying it into like this, that second week of October. So you still have maybe another four weeks to go. All right, whatever it is, but it's all working itself out because, you know, I, I don't want to really give personal, bleh, personal examples, but I have a friend who's had a two part major thing. And last week, the first part happened, but the second part really isn't going to be a done deal until October comes along. So they're two totally unrelated things. So that's what this is like. You know, you have this big thing that you're trying to do, but you have other big things that have cropped up in the meantime. So many decisions and so much to take care of. And so much of it is about change and trusting in the journey. Okay. And that's a good thing. That's really a good thing. And, you know, the universe wants to give you a safe passage. So I like this. It's amazing what's trying to come your way. Big changes, all right? Some of it regarding... Uh, I want to say work. I really want to say finances, but work. Creatively changing how you do things feels like the right way to put it. Okay, maybe so you get better results. Because back here we were talking about your re rewards... And something there needed to change. So it could very well be that it involves your work ethic and how you get your work done. Not saying that your work ethic wasn't good. It's just I think it involves a change around the job and how you go about accomplishing it. And I really think it's a good thing, okay, whatever you're doing. So there's so much more clarity as you try to, you know, like clear your path. And you're just, I want to say, it's like a process of elimination. You've heard me say it before, how when things are daunting, you just kind of have to tackle it one thing at a time. And the way this story has played out for so many of you is that while you were waiting, which is what you're still, you're almost there, that trying to figure out how to do the big thing, life has given you, you know, some new doors and places to explore and you've moved on in some areas while still having that past thing to deal with. So it's kind of that getting the clarity as to how to deal with the past. And that's very positive, okay? I also urge to pay attention to the things that are going on around you because there are reasons to celebrate that are coming. Perhaps even this week, Things are successful. I'm liking this. And I think this has to do with some of the changes that you're making. There's a, a saying that I often feel, yeah, can't even talk, feel applies to my own life. And that is necessity is the mother of invention. All right. It was like last week or the week before whenever I was recording and doing things. Everything I have broke everything everything technical the laptop died everything so if you're wondering by my post why is cecilia so frazzled well that's it okay but out of all of that i found a few new things that i was like oh okay i can't do it that way now i have to do it this way oh but guess what 
I like this way better. So as I resolve the issues, at the time of this recording, I still have not resolved them all, but I have found some new ways of doing things. And that's kind of like what I see here, is that while life has thrown you obstacles, you're finding a better way to do it, a more creative way to do it, and one that is going to be successful for you. So this is, I think, very positive indeed. Not among the major things, it's, but it's a good feeling. There are so many important, powerful cards here this week that relate to the new beginnings that you're working on. Okay, so there is definite movement. And when I say pay attention to the things that are going on, you know, there are gifts coming your way from the universe this week, all right? You need to be paying attention in order to have them because they pertain to your future, okay? They pertain to the things also that you need to let go of. So it's a combination. This is still a, like an old and a new week, all right? And many of you are trying to work your way past some things. Like I said, it's, uh, it's a two-parter, all right, with the rest of it to come in October, I do believe. But follow the light. Follow the guidance of the universe and let it take you to where you need to be because there really are some more positive things coming. There, there's a, a thing that's here this week that I notice is very strong. And that's your faith and your, your faith in that it's all going to work out. Um, like, alrighty then. And we have an extra card that I don't think is part of the deck, but it's beautiful. And I think it was meant to be in there because like I said, the universe wants to give you gifts. Yeah. It's all about, all about that guidance and working things out and having the faith, your beliefs or what are changing and getting you through. You know, one of the best things you can do, and it's not easy, I mean, it's Mercury retrograde, we're between two eclipses, all of these things are happening, and yet the universe is saying, you can do it, you can do it, and you got the old, you got the new, and you're, right? Oh my goodness. But you can, you can. And you know what, this week, you are definitely moving on from something. Something. I still don't think it's the big thing. But I know you are darn well trying. All right? I just think that that's got a little bit ways to go. But you're definitely moving away from something else. And it pertains to some of the loss that you've experienced in your life. Like leaving that sadness behind. And there you are. Rebirth. So this is in at least one area. I don't think it's the one that has plagued you the most, but that's okay. I say take what you can get because there are definitely some blessings in here for you. And like I said, this is a mixed bag of a month. There's a lot going on. So there's going to be highs and there's going to be lows, but you have to pay attention and recognize what's there. I just, I think the thing I enjoy the most about this week is that pondering, pondering that move, and what is it that you're going to do, and you're going to do it, you're going to do it soon, if you don't actually make a move on it this week, you're getting that plan together, and I can't wait to see what happens when we get together to talk next week, because I think this just continues to get more interesting week by week, so I want to thank you all for listening, I'll see you here again next week. Take care.